feel is that um, Flaming River battery disconnect switch. It's too cold out here today for me to mess with it. So I'll come back uh, out here probably tomorrow if it's warmer and disconnect that battery disconnect switch by Flaming River. Now, I spoke to the tech at Flaming River after I made the prior video to this one and offered to send him the link showing the situation with my radio. Once the battery's disconnected and reconnected, the radio automatically comes on. The radio does not automatically come on when I start the car at all. It's only with that battery disconnect jump off. So back to the technician, he suggested that I take it off the car, open it up from the bottom and check the plate that connects to give the battery um, the positive connection. He said, um, and I said, but, um, oh, he stated that it's probably corroded. It has corrosion inside the switch itself. Um, it's been over three years, going on four years, I've had to switch on the car. And um, I said, but isn't your switch waterproof? That's what made me buy it. That's what convinced me to further buy it, um, it, you know, years ago. He said, yes, it is waterproof, but it's not corrosion proof. So, so far so good. And I gotta thank God. But like I said, I'm taking that bad boy off just to test, troubleshoot, see if that was the cause of the starter issue. And in closing, how I got the car to start now, Something told me to watch the needle on the volts gauge. Try to start it, voltage dropped. You guys saw that video. As soon as the voltage went back up to 12, that's when I clicked to turn the car on. Click, click, and it caught, sorry, and it caught right here at 12, 12 and a half volts. And that's, that. I got the car to start. I have 15 volts of DC power. Is that too much? One of my cat hairs, look at this. Oh boy, probably Sasquatch. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know something told me to come back out and give it another shot. Because it does this. It takes a moment to start at times and then when it wants to start, it will start. Now that nine PSI, that's only when the car is ice cold. Um, as soon as I start to drive it or as soon as it warm up, you're gonna see the fuel pressure drop to the truth, which is seven PSI. This is a six and a half to seven PSI car to pump. So this pump does not make more than six and a half pounds of fuel pressure anyway. sincerely and adamantly peace and love and I thank you very much for your time views comments help expertise etc and yo Janet <laughs> she said her ex had two grand nationals one black and one white she blew my head up when she said that so peace and love girl I'm gonna send you the link to this peace